we don't run them, they get very antsy. Brian Holt sounds like a parent when he talks about Siberian Huskies. They're much like children. If you don't keep them tired, they're gonna bother you. <laughs> He's the owner of Good Times Adventures in Breckenridge, one of the largest kennels in the United States with 150 purebred Siberians. They actually get their feelings hurt if we do not hook them up and take them down here to bring our guests out on tour. All right. Ready? Let's do it. Alec Bradley has been guiding tours for three seasons. He has a great appreciation for these four-legged athletes. In a given day, if they're going out twice, they end up doing about eight to 10 miles a day, um, which doing that day in and day out, that that's qualifies as an athlete, I think, for sure. These dogs were born to pull. It's in their blood. And this four mile loop is a walk in the park. Hike, hike! For them, it's like a golden retriever chasing a tennis ball. Um, they wanna go dog sledding, right? That's what they love to do. An eight dog team can average 12 miles an hour. That doubles when they go downhill. The challenge is getting beginning mushers up to speed. But yeah, it kind of is a, a little bit scary, kind of sometimes can be. Uh, I'm able to kind of make sure that we're, uh, we're staying safe and make sure that we're not gonna hurt the dogs or ourselves. Suffice it to say, you better hold on with both hands. Aaron Anderson, Box 31. Oh. Oh, 